All right, well, hey, it's uh, Saturday, February 22nd. And uh, yeah, as you saw, we are having to try and shovel out some of the snow from the front of the hangar door. Uh, today, we're uh, going to repitch this prop. Uh, I had that on my list to do, so I need to repitch that. I've got a uh, database update I need to run on the G3X. Uh, we need to put the cowling on and then we need to find where to put a hole for this gascalator uh, so we can do a fuel sample out of that. Uh, I've seen, I think at one time I talked about doing a, like turning this around and having a hose kind of go back over around the middle uh, or trying to figure out a different way to get that without having to put the hole through the cowling. But I'm not really worried about it. I think I'm going to... Put a, put a hole in it anyways, uh, just for ease of access to that with a fuel tester. Uh, what else? Anything? The door handles. Put some epoxy in there. Oh, yeah. Pin. We've got these door handles where that drift pin goes through that, or that, uh, yeah, drip, not, a, not a drift pin. Anyways, uh, where that pin goes through there, they recommend that you put a little epoxy on that so that water moisture doesn't get down inside of there. Uh, so we'll put a little something on there, maybe a little dab of JB Weld or something uh, in there to seal that off or, uh, yeah, just to keep the moisture out of there. And, um, oh yeah, our lights are still out on this side of the hangar. So we're gonna be running off of uh, the, our little shop light and flashlights, I guess, for today, but not a big deal. Let's see, airworthiness was done last Friday, as you saw, and we just kind of took it easy since then, um, looking at uh, test flight planning and whatnot, uh, going over some of that uh, information. So that was what we were doing last week. Um, yeah, so we'll see what we get done here today and uh, maybe there might be a few other things. We'll see what happens. Something I wanted to do on this uh, before we got flying with it is do a kind of a baseline compression check on this. Now granted, you generally do these with a hot engine or with a warm engine. This engine is cold right now. Obviously it's been sitting in here. But figured since we got the spark plugs out, uh, the bottom plugs out to help us pitch the prop so there's it makes it a lot easier to turn the prop. So we took the spark plugs out and I thought, well, I'll do a compression check on it just to see uh, what it's at. So I've got my handy dandy differential pressure tester here from Aircraft Tool Supply. I bought this actually quite a while ago. Um, but uh, yeah, and it comes, this kit comes with the 14 millimeter adapter uh, for those plugs so you don't have to take the adapters out. And I know that's a whole nother subject on putting the spark plugs in with the adapters or without the adapters. Um, yeah, um, I'll probably eventually end up making a socket that uh, we can put the spark plugs in the adapters and then put the uh, spark plug with the adapter in. But for now, I don't have that. So leaving the adapters in the cylinders, taking the spark plugs out, and this has the 14 millimeter. Oh, oh, it's already, it's already in there. Uh, it's got the 14 millimeter uh, adapter in there. So that is there 
And um, so you take, uh, well, actually here, I'll uh, put this on a tripod and show you how I'm, how I'm doing it. This has a, an O-ring on the end of it, and you're not supposed to tight, just finger tight is all on this. Just so it seals up with that O-ring. And I've got, don't have any air pressure on this right now. Oh, first I gotta find the compression stroke of that cylinder. Here it comes. There. So we've got that on there. And then <laughs> we'll hang on to the prop blade. We'll put a little bit of pressure on it. About 10, 20 PSI. And we've got our valve open going to the cylinder. I can see right, I can feel. Right where top dead center is, right about, right about right there. So we'll crank this up to 80. Oop, it's pushing. So we go 80 psi into the cylinder, and I just kind of move it back and forth a little bit so we find right where top dead center is, and looks like we're like 79 and a half uh, on that, and which is expected. It's a brand new engine, and it's cold too. I don't know if, how much of a difference that makes uh, in it, but there you go. So we got our reading. We'll back this back off while hanging on to the prop. There we go. Pull that off, and we're done. And to me, it's about a half an inch back from where that is. So right there, go straight down. Nope, same spot. Can you right go? Here? Nope. Further back. Er, right there. And er, yeah, right. Okay, go. Yep, color. Okay, I got an idea of what it looks like. <laughs> Well, pretty nice day today. We're in the 40s, I think mid 40s. And um, actually I was looking and we are 75 degrees warmer than we were in the morning mm, three days ago. So we've had quite a change in temperature. The snow is melting um, and it's supposed to be pretty nice weather this coming week, but pretty windy. All right, look at that. We got a finished airplane. Uh, finished up with uh, that oil cooler plate. So we've got the cowling all put on the spinner, as you can see, and everything is done in the interior. We've got that all put back together. Got a little light in here so you can kind of see what it looks like. There's a little cargo net back there. Got the seats in. Everything's turned off. Did an update on the G3X. I think I talked about that earlier. But 
There you go. Um, we have a completed project manager wants to say something. <laughs> we still need to do the strut pairings and the flap gap seal. True. But that's after flying. Yeah. Right there. There's a fairing that goes on those on those struts on the wing. Uh, we're going to do those after we fly it. And then, like she said, uh, there's a flap gap seal that goes on the back. Uh, we'll do that after we fly it first. But yeah, so finished airplane. Um, not sure how the video stuff's going to go from now on. Um, I'm going to try to do video when we fly and we also don't know when we're going to be flying. Um, it's the weather's getting pretty nice, but there's a ton of snow out there and it's wet and I really want to wait till things get dried off a little bit. And so we get uh, favorable winds right now. The winds are blowing across wind and forecast to be that way for the, this next week. But I think Friday, Saturday, Sunday, is looking pretty good for more favorable wind and conditions and temperatures. So possibly this weekend, this next weekend, we might be up and flying. We, the royal we, I. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. <coughs> gonna be a while before Tina gets to fly. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure what, uh, how the video stuff is going to work. I'm going to try to uh, video some of the flights or some of the flying and maybe talk through some of the phase one testing that I'm doing. Um, but um, that is totally the bottom of the priority, to be honest with you. Um, it's, the priority is going to be flying the airplane um, through phase one, gathering data for that. Um, so but we'll see. Well, I'll have something, but just might not be as thorough as we have been in the past. So, all right. Anything to add? Nope. Right. Going to miss building, I think. Not. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought... Okay, that. Four years, five months, and 16 days as of inspection day. And when I came on the project, I was told it would be 18 months. Yeah. I, I was, think I did pretty good. I was close. I was close. 18 <laughs> months. You did very well. Uh, a lot of patience and sticking with it through uh, this whole project. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, everybody, thanks for watching the video. Hope you have a good evening. Um, not going to have a video tomorrow. We're not going to. This, this is it until we fly it. So, everybody, uh, thanks for watching the videos. Have a good evening. And that is it for now.